Hello and welcome to the slightly different SQL and data tutorial with me, James from Matador Software, where I wanted to showcase uh, my favorite SQL book, uh, the Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Bible, um, how you can access this, a great um, online library platform called Perlego, um, and some of the resources available there. So you can already see when you specify interest, there's a whole range on, on data. Um, which of course is the uh, the area which I'm most uh, concerned with um, and specifically for SQL it's fantastic um, and it's not only sort of um, hosting books from one platform like you may see it on Pact predominantly there's a lot of uh, more historic books and um, some more up-to-date Pact publications for Python it's great um, and important to announce that I've got no affiliation here um, I just think it's a great service um, there's some really great books on Power BI, uh, of course, which can be hard to get your hands of in these sort of online e-learning e libraries uh, because it's a newer technology. Um, and at only 12 GBP per month, 12 pounds sterling, it's very good. Now, there is a familiar name here in the Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Bible, um, Patrick LeBlanc, one half of Guy in a Cube. Uh, but I've never come across a book on SQL, um, despite have aged quite a bit. Um, it's still really relevant in general SQL concepts, not just limited to SQL Server. Um, and despite its age, it's, as with SQL usually is the case, most of the concepts stand um, in good stead today, despite approaching 10 years of age. So, um, the first thing I would note here is there's an extraordinary amount of chapters, almost 60 chapters, that all go into a good level of depth, not just anecdotally, uh, but there's a great level of detail, examples, um, code snippets, best practice advice, and it's just a phenomenal effort. Um, going through sort of the some of the basics, let's say, like data types, uh, modifying data, then we can go into advanced data types, querying techniques, into the T-SQL programming side of things, stored procedures, right into sort of maintaining databases, auditing, log shipping, database mirroring, um, even, even into PowerShell, and then things like authentication, data encryption, triggers, and performance monitoring, SQL trace, I mean, the list is endless. So it does get into a stage where it's geared towards SQL Server. But a lot of these concepts stand very well in Azure SQL um, and across other sort of uh, relational database management systems like MySQL, Postgres, etc. And then back into specifics like execution plans. And then we dip out back into indexing um, and the importance of performance tuning. So if you haven't read this book before, I would recommend you do. Um, and perhaps instead of buying outright, if you don't want to do that and you want to get more of an experience in other data public publications, uh, look into Perlego. As usual, like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.